the Cabinet Secretary of Defense, Ambassador Dr. Monica Juma, the Cabinet Secretary for Foreign Affairs, and who is our friend of the KDF, Madam Rachel Omamo, the CDF designate, General Robert Kibochi, the Principal Secretary, Dr. Ibrahim Mohammed, and other PSCs who are here today, our CS, the Vice Chief of Defense Forces, Lieutenant General Levi Mugalu, our retired and serving officers, the retired CDFs, I recognize General Karangi and General Kianga, the chair and members of the Defense and Foreign Relations Committee who have been very helpful to us, our service commanders, including the IG uh, police, general officers, senior officers, senior civilian officers, officers and our families, service members of the Kenya Defense Forces, members of the press, distinguished guests, family and friends. I wish to sincerely thank you for your presence here today to share on this occasion that marks the end of my term as the ninth Chief of Defense Forces of the Republic of Kenya. I take this opportunity, first of all, to thank the Almighty God for this very important day and for his providence and blessing in my journey in the military. I joined the military in 1978 at a very tender age. My military career, for the record purposes, spans 42 years. The significance of this is that I'm the perfect example of what you would call a career military officer. Everything I know, everywhere I have gone to, most of my experiences have greatly been through my lenses as a military officer. When I joined the Navy, I was young, and like it said those days, join the Navy and see the world. And life in the Navy kindled me flames of service to the nation. In 1980, I was commissioned as a seaman officer after attending Britannia Royal Navy Naval College in Dartmouth, UK. Since then, I've served in a wide range of capabilities, capacities for the military and for the country. As I look back, Many things have changed for the military and for me as a person. Ladies and gentlemen, I am immensely proud to have served as your CDF. My tenure as CDF has been without doubt the highlight of my long career in the military service. A job that is at times stressful and uncertain. I view today, therefore, as a farewell to my KDF family and as a thanksgiving day to the Almighty God for his unfailing love for me. I wish to most sincerely thank His Excellency, President Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces 
for the opportunity he gave me to serve the nation in the capacity as CDF since 17th April 2015 and for his constant wise counsel to me and the KDF fraternity. It has been an honor to serve him and to serve this nation. I salute the Cabinet Secretary, Ambassador Monica Juma, the PS, Dr. Ibrahim Mohammed, the CDF designate, General Robert Kibochi, who I have had the distinct honor to serve with as my invaluable Chief, Vice Chief of Defense Forces during my tenure. The service commanders and the entire Ministry of Defense, military and civilian staff for their support. I also want to thank the other service commanders outside the Kenya Defense Forces. And especially, I want to single out the IG of the National Police Service for working very closely with us in the KDF. I most sincerely thank my predecessors and mentors who served before me and those who proved, provided the foundation on which successive military legacies have been built upon. To the staff officers who have helped to steer the Defense Forces during my tenure, I know that our collective knowledge, courage, temerity, confidence, and conduct led to many instances where we made good judgment for the KDF and for our country. I thank you most sincerely. I wish to thank my family for their understanding and tolerance to the military way of life. To my dear wife, Amina, allow me to congratulate you too. The way I see it is this retirement is for you too. Well, I spent most of my time pondering military tactics, strategies, and plans, you steered the family. Your presence, invaluable support, and encouragement made every day better for me and our children. Thank you for enduring the trials that come with being married to a military husband. I know, I know there are days you must have felt they were overworking me and probably underpaying me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, over the last five years, we have continued to build high standards of professionalism and discipline to become one of the most efficient, modern, and patriotic military forces in the world. While I do not intend to give an account of how we have transformed the KDF, let me say that we have grown in leaps and bounds, strengthening our institutions to effectively deal with the threats faced by our nation and the region. Kenyans and the international community continue to acknowledge and express their confidence in KDF and the role we play to promote peace and security, not only in Kenya, but also within the region and in many parts of the world where we're called upon. Our region continues to experience major security challenges emanating from terror networks operating in ungoverned spaces along our borders. Terrorists continue to target unarmed civilians in order to instill fear and affect our way of life. You will recall KDF commenced an offensive operation in Somalia in 2011 pursuant to our primary mandate 
to defend and protect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the Republic of Kenya. We crossed into Somalia with an aim to capture, degrade, and eliminate the Al-Shabaab networks. Over the years, we have launched operations successfully and liberated many hostile territories. We fought on all fronts, land, air, and sea, culminating in the pacification of most of Sector 2, where KDF operates alongside the Somali National Security Forces and others who are operating with AMISOM. I believe the military strategies of both kinetic and soft power that we have used and continue to use in pursuit of the terrorists are valid and will eventually pay off. We must build upon these efforts to achieve and sustain peace and stability along our common borders. Some of the gains made so far have come at a great cost to KDF and Kenyans at large. The sacrifice of our fallen heroes must never be forgotten. Although the fighting capability of the Al-Shabaab militia has extensively been degraded, they still pose a threat to our country. To achieve our mandate, we must continue to enhance our general and professional knowledge, not only to our troops, but also to other Kenyans. There is need to understand the world and the threats we face at the national and global level. This is the only way we shall be able to offer effective and dynamic solutions to emerging threats. Ladies and gentlemen, in the history of wars, all the world militaries are faced with challenges and opportunities. To counter these challenges, innovations are key to improve operations to defeat the enemy. KDF's strategic and operational outlook has embraced the use of technology, advanced training, and acquired modern-day equipment to support these operations. The book, War for Peace, Kenya's Military in the African Mission in Somalia, 2012 to 2020, which I launched this morning, is a tour de force in the study of achievements and milestones met, challenges encountered, lessons learned over the last nine years of our efforts to defend Kenya's territorial integrity and sovereignty and to secure regional peace within the collective security framework provided by AMISOM. I was delighted to oversee the preparation and publication of the book, convinced that there is value in preserving knowledge for posterity. It is my hope that the content will stir ideas and foster robust strategies to achieve sustainable peace for the people of the Republic of Somalia and the region. We must remain cognizant that peace and conducive uh, secure environment are necessary for the attainment of most national plans and strategies in agriculture, education, manufacturing, the blue economy, the health sector, among others. This is why the government continues to support and facilitate the realization of the national defense and security strategies. In this regard, therefore, the military must continue to play a pivotal role in safeguarding our borders, securing key installations and activities 
that have the greatest strategic impact to the success of national strategies and the Big Four agenda. In line with the Constitution and as captured in our core values, KDF must always operate in total service to the civil authority and remain steadfast and loyal to the government of the day at all times. This is a value that we must protect and uphold. As I bid farewell, I am comforted by our history, which continues to demonstrate a high degree of dedication to duty, pride, and professionalism across our rank and file. I am confident that as I exit the service, I leave behind warriors who are well-disciplined, professional, battle-tested, well-trained, and well-equipped to live up to the oath and maintain the trust. I also need to say that there is and always will be room for improvement and adaption and change. We should be flexible and must strive at all levels to create a positive impact. I thank you all for having walked this wonderful journey with me. Before I wish success to the incoming CDF, General Robert Kibochi, and the commanders under him, I would like to thank you, the officers, men and women of the KDF, for the support you accorded me through the years of my service. It is my desire that we shall offer the incoming CDF support as it continues to deliver KDF's mandate as provided for in the Constitution. I hope that this spirit will continue so that we strengthen our national defense and intensify regional and international defense cooperation to ensure that KDF's capability meets the requirement of the security environment. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I wish General Robert Kibochi, an immensely talented officer, an impressive leader, all the very best in his new post as the Chief of Defense Forces. I will miss the life and I will miss all of you. God bless you all. God bless the KDF. God bless Kenya. As I fade away to Mtuapa. <laughs> to General Kibochi, we say in the Navy, when the ship is moving and has no problems, the order given is steady and she goes. You have the ship.